Hello and welcome back to our channel. I'm Danish, and you are watching Iraqi Dinar YouTube channel. Hopefully you all will be fine let's start today. If you are a holder of the Iraqi Dinar or someone deeply interested in the dynamics of Iraq's currency, you are in the right place. Our dedicated team works tirelessly to bring you up to date information, expert analysis, and insider insights that you won't find anywhere else. Staying informed about significant developments, profitable trends, and policy changes affecting the dinar is crucial in the ever evolving world of currency revaluation. In this context, terms like reinstatement and LOP frequently appear often causing confusion among investors and currency enthusiasts. Enterprise Intel guru Frank26 has provided valuable insights that help clarify these terms, especially within the framework of the Iraqi dinar. According to Frank26, the current situation with the Central Bank of Iraq, CBI, strongly suggests that a reinstatement rather than a lop is on the horizon. Let's delve deeper into what this means and why it is significant. First, it's essential to understand the concept of reinstatement. Reinstatement refers to the process where a country's currency is restored to a former advanced value. This typically occurs after a period of economic instability or when a nation has achieved significant positive changes in its economic structure and political stability. For the Iraqi dinar, a reinstatement would imply that its value is reset to a position before the economic downturn, effectively increasing the purchasing power of the currency. This process can be transformative, potentially leading to substantial gains for currency holders as the value of the dinar appreciates significantly. On the other hand, LOP involves removing zeros from the currency. This measure is generally undertaken to simplify transactions and accounting when a country's currency has been devalued to the point where there are too many zeros on the banknotes. For example, if a country lops three zeros off its currency, a 1,000 dinar note would become a 1 dinar note. However, this does not change the intrinsic value of the currency in terms of its purchasing power. It simply alters the face value of the notes in circulation. In other words, a LOP adjusts the nominal value of the currency but does not affect its actual value in terms of the goods and services it can buy. Frank26 emphasizes that the CBI has explicitly indicated a focus on reinstatement rather than a LOP. This is pivotal information for investors and those holding Iraqi dinars as it signifies a potential increase in the currency's value rather than a mere cosmetic change. If the CBI were planning a LOP, they would have announced it publicly, and the International Monetary Fund IMF, would have ensured that this information was communicated transparently. The absence of such an announcement reinforces the likelihood of a reinstatement rather than a LOP. The IMF's role in this process cannot be overstated. As a global financial institution that monitors international economic stability, the IMF plays a crucial role in ensuring that member countries adhere to transparent and sound financial practices. If Iraq were planning a LOP, the IMF would have required the CBI to disclose this decision openly to prevent misinformation and manage market expectations. The lack of such a directive from the IMF suggests that the current direction of the CBI aligns more closely with a reinstatement strategy. Understanding these distinctions is vital for investors and anyone interested in the Iraqi dinar. A reinstatement can lead to substantial gains for currency holders by increasing the dinar's value significantly, whereas a LOP, while simplifying transactions, does not offer the same economic benefits. The confidence expressed by Frank26 in the CBI's direction is rooted in these critical differences and the transparency required by international financial authorities. The insights provided by Intel guru Frank26 shed light on the ongoing discussions about the Iraqi dinar. The conduct of the CBI and the oversight of the IMF suggest that the current trajectory is towards a reinstatement which could restore the dinar's value and enhance its purchasing power. 
This distinction is crucial for anyone monitoring the currency markets and evaluating the potential economic benefits of a successful reinstatement. Keeping abreast of these developments can help investors make informed decisions and potentially capitalize on the significant opportunities that a reinstatement could offer.